Well, hello everyone from Schwann Cadillac, and we have an exciting thing today. Our first ever Cadillac Lyric arrived. So this is, if you're not familiar with the Lyric, this is the first EV that Cadillac released. Uh, it is a little bit larger than the X-T5, so it kind of fits that gap between the X-T5 and X-T6. It is a two-row SUV, and it is pretty sweet. I really like this. You know, the pictures were pretty cool. I was excited to see those, but when it gets here, it just has this feel of a concept vehicle that wasn't changed drastically for when they pulled it into production so that is really cool kind of brings back some of the styles of the old Cadillacs with your vertical uh, tail lights so these are actually your brake lights and right up here are your blinkers um, we it is currently on at the moment keeping the temperature down and that is the really cool thing about evs as well there is no exhaust note on the outside when you do accelerate and get on it it does have a really cool uh, sound that it puts through the speakers um, but of course i can't uh, demo that well i'm filming so i might have to wrangle one of the other salesmen to run the camera while i do that you have this really cool uh, front grille so the lines kind of mimic there actually being a grill there, but of course with it being an EV, you don't need anything to cool there. So you have your nice light up Cadillac emblem and at nighttime, so right now with it being daylight, I can't show a ton, but all of those lines will illuminate as well. Once again, bringing in that Cadillac aspect, these are actually your headlight beams right there and it will actually greet you uh, when you lock and unlock. Pretty cool light show. With them being LEDs, the camera doesn't do it justice, so definitely something to stop on by. Which, mentioning that, this vehicle will be here for at least six months as a demo vehicle. So stop in as soon as possible so you can take a advantage and see it in person. If you walk over here, tap on the Cadillac icon, it will drop down and that's where your charging port is located. Tap that and it will close back up. The other kind of really cool thing about this is if you, it's not actually a door handle, it is a button and the door will actually present itself to you. Let's hit that, it extends out. You can go ahead and grab that to get right on inside. But before we get to that, let's jump at a couple of the other spots here first. So this is your big giant uh, blinker along the side here, as well as these will do a greeting illumination as well when you step up to it. And I really like this kind of, once again, that kind of concept. Oh, let's come on camera, focus up for me here. Kind of that concept car coming into a production. So it kind of has a really cool third brake light up there. And that is actually an active wing there to bring a clean airflow down. Actually, excuse me, if I was better with aerodynamics, it would break up some of that dirty airflow to create better efficiency. Look in the back, looks pretty standard for a, compared to the X series of what we've had, like your X-T5 and X-T6, 12 volt plug, your port's over on the side to release the second row seats. Down underneath, you do have an additional storage port. Uh, go ahead and close this up. Jumping to the back seat, same with the front. Press the button. It extends the door, and if you're wondering how that works, did you catch that? There is a little bar that shoots out to kind of push the door open. Back seat. A lot of leg room and storage back there. It does also have a nice AKG sound system in there with your uh, sub down there, and then you do have a tweeter up top, so even the second row gets a lot of clarity. And once again, kind of that style touch where it has the wood grain kind of of the old classic Cadillac. And as you move forward, you do kind of have that digital. So kind of that uh, blend of the, the generations here. As well as a little bit of styling to the front seats. Uh, definitely a clean looking vehicle with those nice uh, rounded knobs for the HVAC. Once again, little touches that just give this feel of a concept vehicle that became production uh, and then also staying true to the heritage of what Cadillac was. Up above, we do have a nice panoramic sunroof. 
and there's your little glimpse to the front. So much like our Escalade, it has that full wraparound OLED screen. So when the, it's black on screen, the pixels are actually off, giving you a lot better contrast so you can see everything, well, even in daytime. Kind of bringing a call back to the CT6 where you actually have your seat controls on the side. Don't have to worry about trying to fiddle and use uh, just to try to feel where the seat adjustment is. You also have that really nice uh, kick plate logo with Cadillac and the, uh, the Lyric side profile. I mean, just you see these little tiny touches for a Cadillac. Cadillac icons there. The little uh, ducks, which, oh, why am I blinking what that is? But that comes back to the Cadillac crest of the uh, uh, the French Cadillac. Why am I blanking what it is now? I, I'm, I'm kind of disappointed in myself. But you true Cadillac fans will definitely see those uh, ducks and like that little hint there. Once again, still that kind of original wood grain back to the digitized, which does have uh, illumination behind it. So at nighttime, you do get that nice uh, ambient lighting, that really nice OLED screen. And we'll kind of touch this in just a sec if I can get it to focus up. And actually this is getting to be a little bit long, so I might even do a second video that is just the interior, but we'll give you a brief overview. It does have Super Cruise. It is yet another iteration of it, so a different, sensor up front, massaging seats, and I am having a hard time having my camera focused, so we will maybe cover the interior in another video, but definitely stop on in. I'd be happy to show it around to you. Uh, you have your rotary controller, so something that is similar to the current uh, Cadillacs that are out there, but you know, just stepping up the style that much more. Almost looks like a jewel. And then this other little handle here is your uh, regenerative braking or one pedal driving. But that's where I'm gonna call it and we'll switch over to an interior video here shortly.